Hello. Hello. Sarah Jo here from Lavinia Stamps. And in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to, excuse me, camera, calm down. You don't need to shake in my presence. So yes, as I was saying, it's me, it's Emma Jo, here from Lavinia Stamps. And in this video, I'm going to be showing you, you're going to look at this one. A Jingle Bell stag tag on a small watercolour card and with lots of fun on it. So this is a rather delicious Rudolph, really. I don't want to call him anything else, but I have. I've called him Jingle Bells Stag Tag because just Jingle Bells or Stag wasn't enough. So we've got Jingle Bells Stag Tag and it's very navy, which I love. Navy and it's got some of the liquid pearls or as my friend calls them, blobs. And we've got some embossing and I think it's fab. So enough chat. Come on. Let me show you how it's done. So we're going to start by blending the background. So we've got a watercolour card tag in the small size, Elements Ink Blue Atoll and a stencil brush size 9. I've also got the, um, what do you call it, sticker stencil, that's it, set 2 because it's got the lovely stag's head there. So I'm using my size three stencil brush because there's lots of little nooks and crannies I'd like to get into there. Started off with blue atoll, but decided I want to go a bit darker. So I have gone with dark denim. And I'm just going round the outside, round the outside of the antlers. And basically I'm doing this so that I can then turn my attention to the stag's head. So this is the background we're working on now. I know you knew that, but you know, I just have to say it sometimes to remind myself too. This is my favourite so far. So I've got my size 9 stencil brush now. And as usual, I'm starting at the corners because I don't mind the corners being dark. And it lets me take the colour further into the picture and slowly blend that colour if it needs to with another colour or build it up. Big circles. So that's still dark denim that we're using. I obviously thought I hadn't done enough. Just going to dry that off with my heat tool before I do anything else because something tells me it needs to be dry. Especially look at that hint I've got in my hand there. Guess what we're doing next? Or maybe not. So we're going to work on that. Stag's head. Oh, that great pub, the stag's head. Off we go. So I'm just using the outside edge of that stencil to now protect the background while I work on this stag's head. Trying to get it as close as I can to the stag's um, head shape. And I've gone with Emperor Red on my small brush, my size three stencil brush. And I'm just giving him a red nose because it's like really cold out there. And I'm using Emperor Red, Elements Ink Emperor Red. And that's all I'll do with that one. Back with that size three stencil brush and I'm using, this is Blue Atoll. And I'm just going around the edges of the antlers. And the ears and the face. Pat 
Perhaps I should have sped this up a bit more. But I'm literally just going round the edges of the, um, the antlers and the face. And I've given it a bit of shadow, almost like a little quiff on his forehead. So I'm using Blue Lagoon now. But I'm using it more like an outline, you know, <clears throat> where the other was, where Blue Atoll was sort of blended round the edges. This is more a straight line on the ends, just to give us a little bit of definition. And again, I'm going to give it a good dry off. Because at some point, something tells me that we will be doing some embossing. Okay, so I'm using that magic anti-static pad to make sure that it's only going to stick where it needs to stick. And this is the Winter Magic stamp, which I've inked up with Versamark. And I've done a bit at the top and a bit at the bottom. Oh, and a bit at the top on the other side. And I'm using Metallic Silver Sparkle Wow Embossing Powder. And I've just popped it on, tapped it off. Oh, lucky I didn't get it then. <clears throat> there we go that's the badger and now I'm using this it's a watercolour brush set too one of the bigger brushes and I like it just to get any errant bits of powder off and now I'm just going to heat it up until that silver becomes metallic and I love it. I love watching it change state. Goes from being this dull grey blob to suddenly... <clears throat> excuse me with my throat. Um, there you go. There's that metallic sheen that we want. And it's come alive. I loves it. Stickers and stuff. <clears throat> That's one of those things where you just don't really know what to call it. <laughs> so here's the sticker. We're using Sentiment Sticker Set 2, and I found Jingle Bells. But I'm just trying to work out where to put it. Once you've decided, in your own time, Emma, there we go, down there's better. That's the badger. And I've got Liquid Pearls Raspberry. And I'm just doing a few little dots because these, these is going to be the bells. But they're going to have some friends. They're going to have different colours. But we're starting off with the raspberry. Not going too mad with it. You can always go back and add more if you fancy later. <clears throat> and this one is Prickly Pear. Always reminds me of Jungle Book, that. Prickly Pear. I'm sure... Blue sang a song about it. Anyway, enough about that. Liquid pearls, prickly pear, just adding some more bells along the way. And this one is cornflower blue. I love them blobs. They're lovely. Ah, giant blob on the snoz so we have a giant blob of liquid pearl raspberry on the nose and I'm just going to yeah I've turned it over and with the lid on I'm just pushing it down to get a splodge there's a new one it's not a blob this one is a splodge and now I'm just using a white Posca pen to attach these blobs to the antlers don't forget these are bells. Because that's what the sticker says they are. That's why they're bells. A little bit of fun, isn't it? Ah, never leave it alone, can you, Emma? No, nope. going back in. Here we go. It's that stripy stocking sort of time, isn't it? So... I'm just going to give it stripy antlers. I 
climbing up the antlers right to the very end. Fab. Am I finished yet? <laughs> don't know about you, but I'm really pleased with that. Just going to add some snow dots along the way with that white Posca pen. And I think we are done. Well done. You did it. Aren't you amazing? Well done. Do you know, I always wondered why the top of a liquid pearls bottle was flat. And now I know. Well, even if it's not for that reason, it jolly well is now. <laughs> so anyway, <laughs> I thank you very much for coming along and making this tag with me, the Jingle Bells stag tag. I hope you've enjoyed yourself. I have. I love watching these things come to life, you know, as you're doing them. It's just amazing how just the final finishing touches can be what brings it all to vroom, life. Fab. Anyway, very seasonal, very festive, stag tag. Thank you very much for watching. Hope you've had fun. If you've got any comments, please pop them in the post below. I'll do my best to get back to you as soon as I possibly can. In the meantime, you take care, yeah? See you.